guys, back with the Fresh Bottle Collector Spotlight! And tonight we got Gage from uh, Kaiju Pursuit YouTube channel. Check him out, because I said so. If not, he's coming for you. And tonight he's going to be looking at the uh, Marmot built-up kit Vinyl Wars reissue of the Burning Godzilla. And I will say just off the bat, this is the X plus 30 centimeter one. He's going to be looking at the Marmot one. So, take it away, Gage. Kaiju Pursuit, do your thing! Let's do it, guys. Gage, also known as Kaiju Pursuit. Hold up. That's my line, okay? Copy me. We're going to have a problem. I'm kidding. It's okay. Here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marmot Burning Godzilla. Marmot Burning Godzilla is a very fantastic figure. Looks super cool. Uh, I got this guy for $180 at my local comic book store. I think it was well worth the price that I paid for it. The sculpt on this figure is amazing. Let's take a look at the face. Before you keep going on about the sculpt of the figure and everything, I want to say 180 bucks is a good deal for this figure. Uh, not to mention, you found it in a comic book shop near home. So what's better than actually getting a figure in person? You know, versus buying it online. So go into a comic book store that's local, buying the figure in person. You get to see it, touch it before you take it home and everything. Very cool. That's always the way to go. One of the perks about buying stuff at G-Fest, you know, anything, whatever you're buying there. It's always great to get your hands on it. And, like, you found that in a store. It's, you know, ver it's, it's a whole different vibe than buying something online. Anyway. Face is very cool. All the burning patches, which are translucent, also very cool. Um, smells fresh, super fresh. And articulation, it has none in the head, some in the shoulders, uh, some in the elbow, a little swivel in the legs, some in the ankle, some in the tail, one. so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points of articulation, but who needs articulation, because he's an awesome figure, he doesn't need articulation, and bam, this is the very, very true. You're right. It doesn't need articulation. That type of figure, it was made as a figure itself. It wasn't made to articulate. The only point, the only, or the only reason why it has a couple points of uh, articulation is because that's how the figure was put together. So it's not true articulation because that's reserved for like SH Moss Arts, NECA figures. Those are all on ball joints and they can be pivoted all different ways. These figures are put together. If you pulled out that figure apart, you're going to find flanges around the legs, the tails, and the arms, etc., etc. Okay? So, those only move like this has a little bit of give right there. But that's not true articulation. It's only like that just because how the figure was molded, sculpted, and put together. Okay? Closest thing I have to an X Plus figure. So, yes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Back to you, Rich. Bye, Vinyl! Fresh vinyl! Bam! Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Good figure. Great price. You bought it in person. How can you go wrong? Um, like I said, I have the X Plus version here. It is comparable in size, and uh, I think the detail on this is a little bit deeper. And um, But I still, you said that's the closest thing you have to an X Plus figure. But guess what? The freshness is telling me that one day soon, you're, you're going to get your first one. And when you do, it's going to be glorious because you're probably going to pass out because, you you know, your kid and getting such a whiff of all that fresh vinyl is probably going to knock you on your butt. And uh, you can't blame me or any, you can't even blame X+. Plus. You, you know, somebody's going to be like, why are we sniffing figures anyways? So just blame X+. Plus. They'll take the blame for it. Yeah, not me. I don't know nothing about it. Anyway, so Gage... I like you do another video in the future. Actually, everybody out there that's done one, send them in if you want. You know, we'll shoot the breeze about collectibles or whatnot. And if you want to be on a part of the future collector spotlight, all you got to do is film a short video clip, email the fresh final reviews at yahoo.com. It needs to be by Google Drive, 
or another method and if it's if it's uh comp apple compatible it makes a world of a difference for me i'm having trouble using video footage that's from windows movie maker okay anyway so gage good job great figure it's awesome you know it's great that um you know you you're involving as you get older because when i watched some of your first few videos you were probably two years younger and your voice was a whole lot squeakier, so your voice dropped like two octaves, and I'm like, whoa, he's getting older now. It's kind of crazy. But uh, I'll never forget watching your one of your first videos, and you were kind of doing like a whole fresh vinyl kind of gag going on there, and I was dying laughing because I'm like, who is this kid? He's funny as heck. And I shared the video, and I told you this in the, in the messenger, that I shared the video on Facebook and X Plus group, and it was the, the coolest thing I've ever seen. We should do a review Hopefully, maybe sometime in the distant future. But um, you got your butt to G Fez. That's what you should do. Tell your parents I said so, and that's what's up. Okay. All right. So thank you for watching Collector Spotlight. We'll see you on the next Collector Spotlight next week. And remember, anybody can be a Godzilla collector, but there's only one Kaiju Pursuit. Bam.